exorcism, you must first believe in the devil. Exorcism is the act of driving out or warding off evil spirits from persons, places or things. The means employed for this purpose are especially the solemn and authoritative adjuration of the demons, commanding them in the name of God to leave the person or the object which is under their malevolent influence. However, today, with the kind of complication and stringent procedures appealing for exorcism, people have taken it up to themselves to ward off a supposed possession. In case you too are eager to know how one is done and how to get rid of poltergeists, spirits and demons, I have got you some tips and tricks to keep in mind. There are two types of exorcism, solemn exorcism and simple exorcism. A solemn one can only be performed by a priest appointed by the local bishop and only with bishop specific permission. Canon law sets this requirement. Every time we say, Father, cast this demon from my presence and other such prayers, we are doing a simple exorcism. The other type are exorcism of salt, water and oil. The prayer of St. Michael is something which is commonly said to cast away demons. One must keep in mind that while performing exorcism, you must never talk directly to the demons nor directly command them. Thus, instead of something like, I rebuke you demon of anger, you must say rather something like, Father in heaven, please rebuke this demon of anger. We must avoid the I language. Other things to keep in mind. Never fear the spirit from within as fear is its food. They might try to trick the exorcist. However, you must stay strong and not slip into depression as that's its way to win over even you. Try to be filled with love and light. Be strong. A strong will in God is what the evil spirits cannot stand. Mental preparation is the most important aspect of exorcism. Thus, even the priests who are given the authority to perform exorcism are given special classes to withstand all kinds of torments and ordeals they are said to experience during the process of exorcism. At times, multiple exorcisms are required and a particular session might last for hours, days, at times even weeks. Though you can attempt an exorcism, it is always preferable and advisable that let the priests, the ones who are given the authority to do it for you. Let me know your take on this video and do not forget to subscribe to connect the dots for more such interesting updates.